And please welcome to the stage your next comic, Stephen Farmer. Wow, thank you. Thanks. Hey guys, uh, I don't want to start off by bragging, but I'm from Arkansas. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty big deal. Um, it was like, uh, and I'm driving back up there to visit the family. It's like a nine hour drive. I'm getting bored. I'm desperate. So I'll put on the radio and I'm listening to like, this talk radio station. And all of a sudden, I'm in this big debate on there. It's talking about whether America should become bilingual or something. And this woman, she calls in. She's like, no, I don't think we should. Because if English was good enough for Jesus, it should be good enough for everyone else. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. She's kind of got a point, though. <laughs> I'm just saying, I haven't done the research, but, uh... So, I get there. I'm in Arkansas. That's not any more fun. I'm there. So I'm just, like, looking for something to do. I'm gonna help out my grandparents that live there. They got these dogs. But they're always fighting all the time. These dogs are, like, vicious. They keep fighting each other because they're both male. They're full of testosterone because they've never been neutered or circumcised or anything. So... <laughs> so... My friend, he wants to drop his dog off there also so I can help take care of that. Like, yeah, that's a great idea. So all these dogs, the whole time, they're just fighting and barking at each other the whole time. Like, I don't speak dog or anything. This is pretty much what I understood. We don't know you, we don't know you, we don't know you, we don't know you. We don't know you. We don't know you, we don't know you, we don't know you. He doesn't know you, I don't know you, we don't know you. Five hours of this. Dogs don't get anything done in an argument. So, after that battle of wits, I have a... Uh, I got a little free time on my hands. So I'm like, okay, I'm in Arkansas. Let's reflect on what it was like growing up there. Not good. I never fit in. I hated it. Because I was always in like comic books and video games. And everybody else was always into hunting and mud riding and racism and all that stuff. And, you know, to each your own. But, uh... I don't have time for that, it's too, too time consuming. So um, I get down here, man, this place, this place is awesome. Austin, you got culture, you got music, you got things to do. It's just unbelievable. I don't really do any of it. I stay home and play Xbox. But, oh, uh, you too? Yeah. But it's good to know if we wanted to, we could do all that stuff. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so the reason I'm addicted to Xbox, they got this thing called Xbox Live. If you don't know what it is, it's basically this thing where you, uh, you play video games while cussing out 10-year-olds online, and... <laughs> yeah, you're laughing? Some of your kids owe me an apology, and... <laughs> horrible language! Now, even worse than your kids are these British people. You heard of them? English people, whatever you call them. They're like... These people are like cussing me out, yelling at me, saying all this stuff. Like at first I let it slide, you know, because I'm a you know, maybe they're just mad at me because I'm beating them really badly because I'm really, really good at video games. Ladies, and uh, <laughs> just putting it out there. And uh, so, and I'm letting it slide, but you know, these, you know, maybe just a little case of bitter bananas, but uh, they, you use that word too, and um, <laughs> They just keep doing it. It's like, I couldn't stand anymore. Finally, I'm just like, listen, you need to calm down. Because they keep yelling at me like, yeah, you stupid American, I'll slit your throat, you stupid, that's my British accent, you stupid American. I'm finally like, listen, you need to calm down. I cannot take anything you say seriously. Every time you talk, I think you're about to narrate a story. <laughs> this is a story about a fire-breathing dragon named Grindel who terrorized the countryside for over 10 millennia. <laughs> And he always ruined it with some moral to the story until one brave night found Grindel's weakness. Grindel was self-conscious about his weight. Huh? <laughs> Stuck that in there. So, um, yeah, I'm down here. Besides the uh, Xbox, like, I have a job. Like, uh, most comedians, I'm a personal trainer. And, uh, that... <laughs> it's so cliche, I didn't want to bring it up, but, uh... <laughs> so, yeah, like, uh... People said, what's the worst part about being a trainer? What's the, what's the toughest part? It's like, I'll tell you what it is. It's the music. It's like the greatest hits of 2005 on loop, like all the time. I still gotta listen to Gwen Stefani, you know? Like, a few times I've been around that block and a couple of times I've stuck some on the lyrics go. Uh, it's something like that, it's close, okay. It's bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A, it's like, what is it, a spelling bee now? Like, I, I don't, I would never want to spell on stage, you can mess up, you know? Like, you start singing that like an independent song, that I-N-D-I-I-E-E-P-I-D-T, do you know what that means? No, no, I don't. 
She got her own car. She got her own phone. She got her own place. That's pretty normal stuff. Yeah. Uh, man, the girls you've been dating. This guy is easily impressed, man. Any girl's driving him over the edge. She files her taxes. She gets her oil changed. She's got Netflix. Where have you been? Well, but uh, I like the uh, I like the rock music, but uh, I don't fit in in there either, man. Like I'm over there going to the concerts and stuff, man. I'm over there in a mosh pit. I'm like the only one wearing earplugs and deodorant and a. Uh, and the uh, lead singer, he's not making me feel any more comfortable there. He's like, this is for all the people out there who never fit in, who got kicked out at nine years old and had to sell rocks in the street to survive. <laughs> this is for the people who want to kill themselves, but they stay alive just to piss everybody else off. I'm like, man, I don't know these people. <laughs> I want something from me, you know, a little dedication. Like, this is for the people who forgot to buy soap so they had to wash themselves with shampoo. Uh, okay. This is for the people who still get confused between Nick Nolte and Gary Busey. Like, yes, yes. Woo. All right, guys, that's my time. Thank you, you've been awesome.